What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beers and Cars. Woo! All right. So, guys, in this video, what I want to talk about is, first of all, let me just stop that for a minute. Welcome to the channel if you're new. All right, now, what I want to talk about is, does your beard affect the way that people look at you or your lifestyle? This is a big topic, guys. It's something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Um, so, I deal with customers. Obviously, I'm in a business here. I deal with customers on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I don't know how it goes in you guys' life, but no matter whether I'm in a store or up here, depending on where I'm at, <clears throat> it's basically all the same thing. So, if somebody was to walk in here right now, hopefully they don't because I'm talking to myself on this camera. But if somebody was to walk in here right now, and I was facing this way, I feel like as soon as I turn around and they see that, you know, because they just see the back of my head back here. I feel like as soon as I turn around and they see this big beard, their eyes automatically get bigger. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, just because I, they don't know me at all. So I'm not sure if a beard really affects the outlook of how people look at you. Uh, I personally think it does. Um, so what I do is, you know, being that I talk to people every day, uh, you know, selling people stuff, I'm in sales. So being that I, being that I talk to people every day, um, the first thing I try to do when I talk to somebody is basically get uh, that one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation with them and let them know that, hey, this is how it is. You know, and pretty much right off the bat, once you start talking to somebody, they pretty much know whether you're uh, full of shit or if you're a good person or your person. Now, you can't look at somebody and judge them. You can judge somebody a mile away if you wanted to, but, you know, by the time they got to you and closed in, you might be the best person in the world. So, um, I feel like people with beards do get looked down on <coughs> or frowned upon. Beards are frowned upon, I think, you know. Um, there is a lot of people that like my beard, but there's also a lot of people that come in here to my business and look at my beard totally different, uh, definitely way different than I would look at it. But it's because maybe because they don't have anybody in their family with their beard. They're not around somebody that has a glorious looking beard like this. You know, they're just not used to it. So, and I get it, you know, I understand it. But at the same time, you know, it's, uh, it's not really a reason to judge somebody, you know. Um, I've always been one to have hair on my face, so I've never really looked at somebody else and said, well, you know, I don't really want to conversate or I I'm going to look down on this person because of their beard um, or anything in that, in that matter. So, you know, <clears throat> but I do believe people do do it. It's, you know, it's almost like, a, you know, what, what somebody would call racial profiling. You know, uh, you know, I got a lot of tattoos, so... If I get pulled over by a cop, you know, I automatically get profiled just because of this. You know, well, I've been, I've, I did tattoos for a long time, you know, so that's, that's a whole other story. But, you know, you can't look at me because of my tattoos and judge me. So, man, that's a loud car that just went by. But uh, you can't look at somebody and judge them. Um, I try not to judge anybody, period, but there are some people out there that just are just nutty. But you can't look at somebody just because they have a beard and, and try to judge them by this, you know. Um, I'm probably one of the most laid-back people. I try to be as real as I can in a video. Um, you can notice in my videos I'm not real uppity. I'm not real happy. I'm not uh, real down. I'm just, I'm really... I try to make my videos as, as just who I am. You know, I'm talking to you as if I'd be talking to anybody else that was standing right here. I try to be real. I try to be, I try to make it like you're sitting here talking to me and having a straight up conversation, you know? So, and, uh, you know, I don't really get on here to try to sell you, to try to sell you something. I don't get on here to try to push somebody's product towards you. Um, I literally just get on here to, you know, conversate back and forth bullshit with you guys and and i like that part of it um when i do a review of something i do that review because i like that product um i do that review because 
I think you guys should know about this product if you don't know about it already. So that's why I do these reviews on things like that. <clears throat> With that being said, that's my personality. Um, I'm not trying to overhype myself, trying to make something look, oh, Red Bull, look at this. This is the best. You know, I don't want to do that. That's not who I am. So when I talk to you guys on here, I'm just, this is as real as it gets. I'm just a really uh, very down to the person. I, I throw it like it said. I'm not going to overhype myself and make myself look like I'm the happiest person in the world or the saddest person in the world. I'm literally just on here as one of the guys talking, conversating back and forth with you guys. So, and I think that's where a lot of people get to know me. Um, instead of judging me for the beard, um, they judge me for my, my personality while I'm talking to them. They can tell that I am an honest person. They can tell that I am telling the truth. I'm not trying to upsell them on something that's a bunch of garbage. Um, uh, you know, <clears throat> and it's, I don't know. I'm, it's, it, it's hard because, you know, some of the people coming to my business here is, uh, they may not be in their in their twenties or or below twenties and go, hey man, that's a you know that's a glorious beard, man. And they may be uh, fifty, sixty years old and you know looking for some parts for their truck because I do aftermarket accessories and stuff like that. They may be looking for parts for their truck and may not be looking to come around you know through this door over here and see someone that looks like me sitting right here. So. With that being said, when they come in, I have to comfort them because that's what I do. And usually within the first, I don't know, few words, man, the first minute, someone can tell that I'm not a bullshitter. I'm going to shoot it to you straight and tell them, you know, what they want to hear. And, and that's it. I don't try to, I, I don't try to upsell anybody. If I feel like I can't do this, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you how it is. And that's what my personality, um, that's where it kicks in. And uh, that's how people get to understand that I am a good person and that you cannot judge me by this. So, um, and so I get along with it. I really get along with a lot of older people. Now, some of you guys are going, well, how old are you? Well, I'm not as old as the people I'm talking about. I can tell you that. Um, I am older, you know, my beard makes me look probably a lot older than I am because it's gray. I've had gray for a long time. So, you know, it is what it is, but I would like to know, um, you know, basically what you guys think, do you guys get judged everywhere you go with your beard? Um, you know, I don't know if, if many of you have a beard as long as this or if you guys are just starting to grow out. If you're not growing a beard, if you haven't grown a beard yet and you're going to grow a beard, you can look forward to these things. You will see somebody out there in this world that judges you and you will also see somebody else that just walks by you and straight up gives you a nod because they got a beard just like yours. So they understand, you know, they just, you know, you might have somebody that walks by and just literally just, staring at you the whole time because either they despise who you are or uh, your beard or they just simply are wondering, man, how did he get a beard that nice looking? And that happens a lot with me. You know, I may be in a store and I may have somebody come completely out of this side aisle and come up to walk past me just to turn around and say, man, that is a badass beard. And that's fine, you know. And if somebody wants to walk past me and look at me differently and whatever you know i don't really care about what other people think but i just want to put it out there that if you're growing a beard or starting to grow a beard you can take you pretty much you can pretty much guarantee that someone's going to look at you way differently especially once your beard gets to this length you know if it was up here it's still it's it you st people still look at you differently uh with the beard and that's fine but i just want you guys to know that and put that and take that into consideration uh before you grow a beard, if you haven't grown one yet, to look, you know, to something to look forward to because <clears throat> people will look at you differently. And it's all good. You know, deep down inside, you just got to not care about it, you know, and that's what I do. I don't care because this, at the end of the day, makes me happy. This is who I am. And if I was to take this off my face right now, my face would shrink. Look, it'd be like this. Look. <laughs> that's how much shorter my face would look. So this is me. This is my character. Now, like I said, I've talked about it before. I may take a little bit off of this because it's about that time. Uh, I don't want to take off a whole lot, but I do need to trim some off of it. But that pretty much sums up my video for the day. I just have to know if there's any of you other guys out there that feel the same. Uh, how is your situation? Are you in a... Uh, you know, in a, in a business like me where I'm greeting people every day with this? Are you... <clears throat> 
does it bother you? Do you feel like it bothers you? Does it feel like it bothers somebody else? Is it hard on your day-to-day activities? Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. I would like to know somebody else's feedback on something like this um, because it's something I've never really talked about. And I'm looking forward to getting some feedback off of this, bouncing some ideas back and forth off of people and seeing what you guys think about living every day with the beard like this in this world. And if people look down on you, if you're frowned upon or if you think it's just fine. Um, with that being said, that's it, guys. If you guys watch my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below um, to stay up to date with my future videos. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with everything. And with that being said, see you guys in the next one. Peace.